Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. I'm BridgeBurner412. And if you're seeing some changes, it's because we've made some big changes. We've got a new monitor fired up here at 1440p resolution. So the color should start popping. I'm very excited about this. And we've also, I've also selected a cloak for our hero, Curadred. So keeping with our Rohan and the horses theme, got that out of the vault, dusted it off, and uh, we're ready to go here. I also, I did a few deeds off camera, um, and I completed the Neeker Beaker, oops, Neeker Beaker, and Sickle Fly. So our, our virtues are looking pretty good here. So we've got... Zeal up to four, uh, Wit is up to six, and Valor is up to six. So you'll notice we're getting close to our levels here. As soon as we level, that'll go up again. Um, but yeah, that's looking good. And we also have a skill point that we got at the end of last episode. So we're going to go ahead and load that in. I'm trying to think of what to put it on here. I think we'll just add to our blade skill damage. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, commit those changes. Yes, yes. I think we're a few. Oh, we do have a racial deed that we can slot in here pretty soon. We've got to get the um, the opening deeds for that. And I don't think we have those yet. So if we go back here to our deed log and go to our racial traits. Yeah, we have not opened up the ability to slot any of these yet. So that'll be coming in the future. Um, so let's close off that. In addition, I did, when I was out doing my mayhem of my deeds, I went ahead and crafted a sword and a dagger. Actually, I crafted two swords. They're still here in my bag. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I can sell here, but I crafted two swords and two daggers just in case. But I thought a good balance, this gives us um, 51 or uh, 514 in combat power regen. Power isn't a problem for us. The daggers went ahead and gave us some morale, so I crafted a, a nice balance. I also crafted a bow. We can use a bow. We don't have any skills for a bow, but if we use our auto attack down here, auto attack mode, it will fire at the target. So now we have a little range to, to draw enemies in should we wish to do so. I put in my Stone of the Tortoise to prevent our XP building up while I was out slaying. So uh, let's put our go ahead and put our Novices Mark back in there. And I'm not sure how much longer we can use this. Maximum level 15. So this is not going to work for us after this level any longer. So hopefully we'll come up with a better uh, pocket item. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually, it's probably a good time to start looking into tasks. So tasks are used to build rep. And in all of my slaying, I got some things, you'll notice there, these light carapaces can be turned in for tasks. It says there in the red, and I got quite a few. So how that works here in Bree to build up reputation, we can go ahead and do that now. Um, so we'll go ahead and head out the door here, out into Bree. Each area will have a tasks board that you can um, put up. Also, before I forget, let's go ahead and bind here to Bree, because this is where we're going to be running around a lot. So as we head down here, in the middle of the square, the town square here, is a deed board and you'll see that it shows up on the mini map as a feather it will also show up on your map as a feather kind of hard to see i might have this set too bright if it's too bright um let me know let's clear all select the task and see it'll show up there as a feather so we're gonna select all all right so what you do is the first thing is oh and i i need to reload my my uh, deed tracker add-on so i've not done that yet but uh 
you can see here on your quest log that it will tell you your daily task limit and I have five that I can do per day so this will work perfectly because it's going to be 10. So what you do is you figure out what you have. I have 10 mossy carapaces and those are this one here. So this will get rep for the men of Bree. Our reputation right now is neutral. As we get more and more reputation in each of the areas, um, you get benefits like uh, discount from vendors, you get discount from the uh, stables, and we have to pick up the stables here as well. Uh, we might do that before we go in and talk to Strider. So uh, we want our rep to go up. So we're going to go ahead and grab this one and accept it. And it will tell us that we have the thing. Now in Bree, most of the time, yeah, so it says we collect it because we already have them. Most of the time next to a task board will be a chest. But here in Bree and in the other starter areas, you have to go talk to a person. And in, and in here, it's this guy. How can I be of service? So he's going to have the turn in. So let's go ahead and turn up our, our quest things here so we can read them a little easier. So we can finish that, and we got 300 reputation, which isn't much, but um, but that's fine. So then you come back, and you have to do it again. And we go turn it back in. What do you need? So I'll speed this up a little bit as we go back and forth for our five tasks of the day. So now when we turn in this last uh, quest, uh, it's going to tell us that we've reached our task limit. And then we can't do any more tasks in Brie for what the day. What do for you? Or we can't do any tasks anywhere for the day. So that didn't get us much. Um, you know, we made a little bit of progress up here, but uh, 300 a pop gets us 1,500 a day, plus the finishing of quests. So that's how that works. All right, let's go ahead and sell. Um, let's go ahead and sell our stuff. Uh, provisioner here will work fine. Go ahead and sell all of our old stuff that we're not going to be using anymore. Let's let's use that recipe here first. Give us that bronze armor recipe. Let's see. This is not an upgrade. Swords we took off. Uh, hand axe. That we took off as well with our new weapons. We're hitting a lot harder. So we're going to go ahead and sell everything. Oh, we better keep that. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit the lock. Oh, well. So we'll go ahead and lock that. Eventually, I might get a carry-all bag, which will put all of your crafting materials into one bag, one slot on your, on your deal here which will be nice. Um, I don't think we needed to lock anything else. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let's lock the hides. We want to not sell the hides because we're going to need lots of those. I'm going to have to go out and farm hides. Uh, the rest of this stuff we can sell uh, even though we can turn in for tasks. We'll get other stuff to turn in for tasks every day. So um, we don't really need to worry about any of this. So let's go ahead and sell. What's your need? Just want to scroll through, make sure I don't sell anything. Uh, we'll keep the resin. This gleaming web was for casters. Uh, it does have a crit rating, tactical mitigation. We're going to go ahead and keep that for when we hit our level. Um, we're not going to want to... Uh, We're not going to want to uh, go without a pocket item. 
Okay, everything else here I think we can sell, so we'll go ahead and sell it. I think we also have our Hobbit gift of today, so let's go ahead and hit that. Actually, we've got two. We've got our silver. We got max morale and power potions, or scrolls. Where did those go? I don't think these stack. Uh, they do not. This one, oh, this one's for power. This is for morale and power. So we didn't really score too much here. Um, but I guess we'll just put these here just so we don't forget that we have them. So we can use them. Also, uh, we're going to go ahead and put our little, um, our little gift potions down here. Uh, because, hi. Um... These will stack with our Athelus potion. Let's take that off. Power's not really an issue right now, so we're not gonna really worry about putting those on our bar down here. That can just create some clutter. So let's open up our gold gift and see what we got here. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, that's a good one. That gives us some Slayer, slayer and Skill Deed boosts, which will help us do our Slayer Deeds faster. So that's a nice one. All right, so let us go ahead and sell how may I help here. you repair nope we didn't get anything to sell I'm so used to getting the uh, the scraps all right we have a new quest available tasks at hand we'll go ahead and accept that we'll do that tomorrow when we turn in our tasks and we'll go ahead and remove that that'll tick up automatically. It's giving us credit for one task today. All right. So now it is time to get started with the forward. So without further ado, let's get this episode going proper. And we'll get up here. Strider is in his room. Up the stairs up here. Actually, he's not up the stairs. He's right here. So let's pop in and see Strider. So an unwanted guest, so we can finish now. Alright. The Dowerhands Lord fled to Breland after his defeat, and not by mere chance. I see the hand of the Captain of the Nine in all these affairs in the West, in the Shire, and Breland. We must unravel the thread of his plans. To the east of Bree, there is a Blackwald camp, which men have been watching closely. A shadow has recently spread across the camp. I believe it is here that Amdir has gone. And this dwarf lord as well. There we must go, and there we must end Amdir's life, if he can be called living. We will wait for nightfall. Okay, Let's see, what can we get here? Okay, so this is going to be quite an upgrade in terms of our... And we're not going to upgrade our armor for quite a while. Um, so yeah. All right. Are you ready to leave? Okay, here we go. Going to travel in, get busy. Strider and the Rangers pursue their fallen brother Amdir to the Black Wolves camp, but not all is as it seems. Mm -hmm. There is evil afoot. Nice. I doubt Amdir is here, but quick. All right, so. Aragorn is going to go around the back, and we're going to try to come in the front here. Alright, we're going in. Hopefully, these rangers will do a little better than the rangers that we have been running around with for the past episode or two. Alright, you ready to go? Torthin? I'm apparently much taller than he is. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Hey, how you doing? Short 
work out of these guys. I'm going to use one of my candles. Because I remember there is a little bit of... There's a little bit of dread. Toward then, where are you going? Alright, here we go. Kill some more black walls. They, they made their choices, friends, you know? You'll notice my my health attack is hitting for 558, which is pretty solid. Torthan, what are you doing, man? Get up here. Come on, dude. He's back there waiting for us to clear the way out. Dead. And dead. Hi, Cutthroat. No, no, no. You do not know the nice crafted armor I am currently wearing. Things are melting. Uh oh, Tordan's going over there. Or Torthan. I think he's going to wait for us as we loot this supply crate. No loot goes unbound. Okay, got some stuff. Small whetstone. I could have used that a little bit earlier, but that's okay. All right, here we are. Silently now. Darkness approaches. Let's get open that gate. Let's get her in here, too. skill like happening here. I don't know what's going on. Occasionally the, the servers will act up and you'll get some skill lag. Where are you going? Come back and get killed. Please leave me alone. There now there's no need for concern yet. Oh, the Black Walled Informant in a pool of his own blood. I hit it. Hit the thing. Why isn't it hitting the thing? Got a new deed? The bodies around this ritual. Those evils may be behind this gate. Indeed. Stay a moment. Up we go. Deer is now a servant of the great, taking the robes of the Kargul, the Forsworn. Too late. Ambir has turned into this Hargul. And we had to kill him. I am sorry, Amdir. Be at peace. It's a sorry day. It is a sorry day. I will lead you back to Strider. It's a The Nazgul have crossed the Aizen and are heading for the Shire. The hobbits must be quick-footed enough to escape the wrath of the Nine. And we can only hope that Frodo slips through the traps of the enemy. Hopefully Frodo will get away. 
All right, I turn that last for all dear. All right, so we're gonna finish this. I have a task for you. And we are gonna say goodbye to our nice cloak of the harbinger and put on um, put on this cloak. So we can take this off of our bar down here. I'm curious to know who the dwarf you encountered at the Blackwald camp was. Dwarves are by nature honorable and cannot be dominated by the will of the enemy, or of any. Why this one would serve the enemy, I cannot say. Worse yet is the appearance of the Nazgul. I must go watch the East Road, for I am expecting some travelers, and now fear they may be in danger. Would you travel to Combe and speak to Constable Underhill? You may know him already. We do indeed. Stout little fellow who knows about the town center. All right, we can do that. That is easily done. What road did you take, Frodo? The ringwraiths ride openly in the Shire, but there are places which are even more terrible and dangerous. If you choose the path I fear, search for the light in the darkness. The light in the darkness. We are the light in the darkness. Oh, it just tra transported us right to Comb. Isn't that nice? Um, what did we get down here? Oh, our task limit reach. Yes, we knew that. We got some new mail. We do not want to reset that. Um, oh, this was from my uh, stuff that I made for myself. Courage, right? I have need to see you in Bree. There is a matter that requires the champion skill, and I think that it shall be a good way to teach you. Okay, so this is our first champion quest, uh, class quest, um, should be up here, and the rewards are 72 copper, uh, which ain't great, but hey, what can you do? And then we got a deed, uppercut. So if we defeat 50 whites, we get uppercut, which is, which is very, um, you know, it's okay. It'll work for us in, in terms of an interrupt um, until we get it. But I think we'll probably get the interrupt skill first. All right, let's head up here and talk to Constable Underhill. We remember where he is. Oh, is there something else I wanted to check? Um... Okay, that guy's in three. A lovely day, isn't it? Right, Please, now. stay a moment. I suppose I should make sure those Blackwalls aren't hiding in that cave of theirs again, mustering their strength, but I'll want some help. Okay, so we're going to accept this quest. Um, but we're probably not going to do this one right now. Um, what is our time? We've got six minutes. We could probably do it in six minutes. Good day. Let's do it. Amdir's defeat shattered the back of the Black Walls, but pieces of the mystery remain unsolved. Pieces of the mystery remain unsolved. Goodness. All right. Let us defend Constable Underhill, who is going to get attacked. By stuff. Sneaker breakers. More sneaker breakers. Stuff dies really fast uh, with the weapons that we've got going. I'm almost not ever getting enough fervor to proc to use uh, to use these skills, and we do want to use those skills because uh, it will help us advance for deeds. Our skill deeds. So we do want those to proc. Go. We've got 
going on here? You know, this is nasty business. It is. Possible Underhill is a little bit um, nervous. Oh, here we go. Black Walled Leader, the Dower Hand. Sentry. I do not have permission to use this. Swear fealty to Angmar once more. Oh, someone died. On the head. We have protected Constable Underhill. Blackwall's leader. Oh, we remember him. He looks a lot like William Skunkwood. Can't you leave me to my misery? You couldn't have come a moment early, could ye? For the dwarf struck me, maybe though. First it was that Elgin saying that if we pledged to Angmar we'd be made rich. Well, when that fell apart, a few of us decided we didn't want anything to do with Angmar anymore. We started talking to some new fellows, men who came up from the south, an ugly bunch they were. But at least they didn't seem likely to go raising fell spears or some such on us. Seems though Angmar didn't like the prospect of us leaving them. Okay. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, speak to Constable Underhill. Find out what he has to say. Just a moment. Seems a strange dwarf escaped. I hope we find this dwarf in the future. How he got out of here is a mystery. That dwarf was the one we should have been worried about, not these Blackwolds. I suppose the Blackwolds are truly broken now, but for some reason I still don't feel safe. There's not much more we can do here. Let's go ahead and travel. The rangers which once guarded the borders of the Shire have been scattered or slain. Frodo has left the Shire, but great perils await him in Bree. I am too late. Someone must find him before the Nazgul. Alright, so we have... We have made some first steps into our journey. And um, we'll go ahead and finish our quest at the beginning of next episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we will see you in our next adventure. Thanks for tuning in.